Good morning. Welcome to our Wednesday webinar. Today we're actually talking about getting the best night sleep of your life with essential oils. This is Julie Grimmins and I've got Glenda Robichaud on the call with me this morning and we are so excited to share with you guys some um, great tips and tricks for getting a really good solid night's sleep and sharing with you why that's so important. Before we get into that, we are going to go over just a little bit of our um, a little bit of our nuts and bolts, things that we need to cover this week. And um, we'll be covering some of our current promotions, talking a little bit about the holiday guide, showing you a little bit about our new products, um, our main topics, sleep with intention, and then talking about our upcoming events. So our October promotions are amazing. If you order a 200 PV order till the end of the month, you will get Citrus Bliss Balance and Serenity for free. Um, this would apply to any uh, enrollment orders, LRP orders, and what a wonderful gift um, for October. I know I personally love these three oils. I use Balance and Serenity every day. I love to diffuse Citrus Bliss. It's just very uplifting and great to have going in the house. So make sure, um, and then you can do up to four orders of 200 and get four of this set. So if you are doing an order that's over 200 and it's close to 400, make sure you separate those orders and do two 200 PV orders to take part in this promotion. And this is a great thing to think about real quick. If you are enrolling somebody who is thinking about the top 10 oils in like the family essentials kit, upgrade them to the home essentials kit. That way they get three times as much oil in the 15 milliliter bottles instead of the five mil. They get the diffuser and these three oils on top of that. It allows them to get this 200 PV opportunity for that. And something um, that you might want to be aware of if your new enrollee is very, very excited to get their product as soon as humanly possible, definitely upgrade them because currently, um, until this coming Monday, there is a hold on the Family Essentials Enrollment Kit because there's a back order on the um, on guard beadlets. So just to put that plug out there, um, upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. And they'll get the best value and they'll get it fast. Awesome. Thanks for sharing that. I did not know that. I found it out yesterday. <laughs> and now my computer has chosen to froze on this slide. <laughs> okay. um, our other, <laughs> our other promotion this month is that ginger is 10% off. So um, that's a great one to throw in your cart to and get a little added discount on. And ginger is such a good oil for warming this time of year. I know the weather is absolutely beautiful right now, but this time of year, um, it starts to get cooler outside and it's really important to kind of spice up that um, digestion system and ginger is amazing for that. <laughs> Completely frozen on my end. Moving awesome. forward. <laughs> moving forward. And I'll try to take over here in a minute too. So uh, moving forward, the product of the month was on guard. And uh, if you had a chance to get that, awesome. If not, next month, shoot for your product of the month because it is a tremendous, um, tremendous value. The next thing we were going to cover was the holiday items. The holiday items look amazing. Um, there is two holiday oils. We always have holiday joy every year, but there's a new one this year called Holiday Peace. I can't wait to get my hands on that one. Um, and then there's this adorable little clutch that will hold six roller balls. And it comes with one roller ball of a blend called Beautiful, which they actually gave to everyone that attended the gala this year at convention. And I know Julie went and she had 
as that roller ball blend and I smelled it and it is beautiful. <laughs> beautiful is beautiful. <laughs> um, so I'm really excited to get that too. And they'll probably be uh, kind of crazy to get in there, but what they did um, in the past, and I think what they're going to do again this year is when you log on, you'll be given kind of your spot in line. So let's say you're uh, number 100 in line. They might say, you know, check back in approximately five minutes and then you'll be able to hop on. And I think they also send you an email to let you know when your um, place in line has come up too. So make yeah. sure you get in early on those. After they send you that email, you typically have about 10 minutes to log on. So it's not like you have to drop every single thing that you're doing to get over there. And then... Lastly, we were going to talk about new products. They are available for purchase. As far as the hand, on guard hand sanitizing mist, there's a limit of two per account. Um, and make sure you order two because you're going to want them in your purse, in your car. You're just going to want that product everywhere. And the oils, all the new oils are also available for purchase. The yoga collection kit, um, the Copaiba oil, which is slowly becoming a huge favorite in our house. Siberian fur, um, blue tansy, they're just all beautiful. Rose, jasmine, neroli, wonderful oils, and you can get all those today. And the copaiba is on back order. You know, I've been in doTERRA for, what, six years, seven years, and I have never seen this much back order happen. I think that everyone is just so excited about the copaiba. I think that... Um, that and the um, guard hand sanitizer. I think those two really took off far more than doTERRA had anticipated. And so there is currently a back order on Copaiba, but um, they are getting those out as soon as possible. So that's one thing that you will have to hit the ship now button. It won't allow you to put that in your cart for next month. And sorry, technical difficulty here. Julie, are you able to take the screen? I believe I already am. Oh, oh, because I'm frozen, I can't see. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I hope well, that I am. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I am. Okay, so On Guard Hand Sanitizer, available now. Now, Sleep With Intention, this is our topic for today. I, um, this is a very thing, this is a big thing that hits close to home with me. I have two teenage daughters and we, uh, we just straight up don't sleep enough in our household, not because we can't, but just because, um, life gets so busy. Sometimes it gets a little difficult to fall asleep, but, um, more often in my world anyway, I just have so much going on, um, to, too little time to sleep. Who needs that, right? Well, as we we're doing some research to get ready for this, um, this topic, it really is important how much sleep that we need. Here's some awesome sleep disorder statistics. Um, 50 to 70 million US adults have a sleep disorder. 50 to 70 million. So if you're wondering who to share doTERRA with, there's 50 to 70 million people out there that are just waiting for you. 48% uh, report snoring. Snoring occurs and it doesn't allow you to get the proper amount of oxygen into your brain. Well, when you're sleeping, that is your brain's time to... Um, to really rejuvenate and repair and heal itself. And if 48% of us are snoring, can you imagine the implications that that's going to have? 37.9% reported unintentionally falling asleep during the day at least once in the last month. Now, you know, it's funny. I've been on my own health journey for uh, probably about six years, seven years. And I used to fall asleep during the day all the time. And I'm really glad to say that that doesn't happen to me so much anymore. Uh, four to 7% reported nodding off or falling asleep while driving at least once in the last month. 
Now that is a super scary statistic, especially all the people that we have on our highways, on our freeways, truck drivers, um, moms carrying kids to soccer games. It's really scary. Uh, drowsy driving, driving is responsible for 1,550 fatalities and 40,000 non-fatal injuries annually in the U.S. And insomnia is the most common specific sleep disorder with short-term issues reported by about 30% of adults and chronic insomnia by 10%. All these uh, statistics were taken from the American Sleep Association. And Glenda, did you have anything that you wanted to share on these? Just that they're really alarming. Um, I, I think that in today's culture, we're just so driven and so many things are being dropped by the wayside and sleep is extremely important for our health and well-being. And so that we can be productive and safe. Absolutely. So uh, when we look at what sleep is needed, you know, I always heard growing up, eight hours sleep, eight hours sleep, eight hours sleep. And they're finding that adults really need somewhere between seven and nine hours, which, you know, that eight hour definitely falls into that range. But um, sometimes adults don't need quite as much. But if you've got somebody telling you that they don't need more than four hours sleep, um, there's, it's not quite right. <laughs> they need more than that. Um, so seven to nine hours sleep by adults. Teenagers actually eight, 10 hours of sleep. And what's crazy is teenagers are the ones that are staying up way later and sleeping until noon if they can. Um, but, you know, school, my daughter's up at 630 in the morning. So in bed at we try to get her in bed at 10, 11 o'clock at the latest. Um, but sometimes teenagers like to stay up and do homework and do social media and do Netflix and all of those things that teenagers do. Um, and on the flip side, my daughter at uh, 15 will sleep until noon, one, two o'clock in the afternoon if I let her. And what's kind of ironic today, Glenda, is that this is actually MEA, the very start of MEA. So the one day that I could sleep in. I'm here with you talking about sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so kids six to 12 years old need uh, nine to 12 hours of sleep. So your little middle schooler still needs nine to 12 hours of sleep. Children three to five years is 10 to 13 hours, including naps. Kids one to two years is 11 to 14 hours. And babies, infants, four to 12 months, 12 to 16 hours, half of their life at that age is spent sleeping. And it's so important because their bodies are growing dramatically during that point in time. Their physical bodies, their brain development, everything is growing so fast. And it's during that sleep that that growth occurs. Mm -hmm. So what is your goal? Is your goal to sleep as soundly as this cute little boy with his teddy bear? Um, I, I need to shoot for that eight hours. I know that that is my prime time right there. So a lot of people are having trouble shutting off in their day um, or at the end of their day. So much of our day is spent racking our brain, solving problems, stressing out about money or um, time or this or that. What are some of the things that you suggest that you offer to shut down at the end of your day, Glenda? Well, one is I really try to limit um, being on a computer, my phone, tablet, anything that's producing that really bright light because it, it tells your brain that it's time to wake up, that intense bright light. Um, so I try to do that, try to stop using those a couple hours before I go to bed. Also kind of preparing the bedroom for bed, set, setting up my diffuser, making sure I've got some oils in there ready to go. 
It's really great to start diffusing before you actually go to bed. So it kind of fills the air in the room. So that's something else I do. Um, and just sometimes maybe like a, a brief mindfulness meditation or sometimes I'll journal uh, my gratitude for the day. Just stuff that kind of helps me put a, pull it close to the day and let go of all that stuff so it's not running around in my brain. Mm-hmm. So uh, looking at the oils that we have on the screen, cedarwood is amazing for quieting that chattering mind. It really helps to center and bring back into balance our thoughts. So it's great for study as well because um, it'll help with focus, but it's been going in my diffuser for the last couple of nights and it's awesome. Um, balance is another one. Balance is... Um, a grounding blend. And I was talking with a girlfriend of mine last night and she's so cute. She says, you know, if you spend 15 minutes a day earthing, 15 <laughs> minutes a day with your bare feet on the ground, no socks, no shoes, but just allowing those negative ions to be released into the ground, that you don't need balance oil. But... <laughs> If you're like the majority of the U.S., you should probably grab your balance oil because it really does help with that grounding sensation. If you think about it, um, I love to envision a tree, and it's got its roots deep into the ground, and it's got the heartwood of the tree that goes straight up the center, and it's branches that reach outwards to the sky. And so balance oil allows me to feel like this tree. If I put it on in the beginning of my day, it helps me to feel rooted into the earth. And it allows me to feel like no matter what comes my way, I can bend and sway like a tree while staying very stable and secure in my footing. And then at the end of the day, it allows me to um, really feel that groundedness again, kind of retreat within and feel, um, feel well-rooted so that I can start to shut off my brain and start to slow down. Those are two of my nighttime favorites. So I love this quote. I just found this so funny. No, I don't really rise and shine. Most days I just caffeinate and then hope for the best. <laughs> I think so much of our world is living on uh, what caffeine and nicotine. <laughs> that. This is so true. However, if that feel if you feel like that is you, check out our Mito 2 Max. Uh, doTERRA actually has this energy and stamina complex that does not have any caffeine in it at all, but what it does is it helps you to feel alert. It helps you to feel awake, and it does so by helping the body to recreate the mitochondria that it needs. Now, I don't know if you heard of that awful article of a young man who had ended up in um, the hospital with a severe brain injury from drinking too many energy drinks. He had um, energy drink overload, uh, actual toxic, uh, toxic issue where part of his brain had, well, I don't know the technical term, but um, he ended up brain damaged from too much, too many energy drinks. Um, and he was trying to provide for his family. His wife was nine months pregnant when he ended up in the hospital. And that's sad. So don't turn to your energy drinks. Cut down on the coffee. Grab for your Mito 2 Max and realize that you can do some amazing things for yourself. Yeah, those energy drinks are so harmful, and I don't really think people realize how harmful they are for our bodies. They're just filled with toxins. Yeah. yeah. It might give you energy for a little bit, but it's just so not worth the stress you're putting your body under. 
I feel very passionate about those. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. <clears throat> Um, so grab your Mito T Max, grab your fun diffuser blend. Here's a great one. Wake me up. Um, peppermint, I'm sorry, spearmint, wild orange, and Douglas fir. It's a beautiful blend. Um, and uh, I just love a simple drop of peppermint in my hands sometimes when I really want to hit that snooze button. I reach for my peppermint bottle and one quick drop on my hands good inhale and it helps to give me the strength and the courage to pull my butt out of bed <laughs> and get up and do a wednesday webinar <laughs> that's right when my kids are both still sleeping <laughs> so eat well and exercise so important again at that very um foundation of our health eating well and exercising and it will actually help you to sleep better um, so many of people have discovered that when you get that cardio exercise in there, um, it really does help. As little as 10 minutes of aerobic exercise can dramatically improve your sleep. But be sure not to exercise too close to bedtime because it'll ramp up your metabolism and your body temperature, which can make it difficult to fall asleep. But if you get hungry um, before bed, Snack on a few like nuts. Nuts are a great um, source of protein and fat. They're not only satisfying, but they're slowly digested, which can help provide a calm sleep. Nuts are rich in magnesium, which is a mineral that actually can help to calm the nervous system. So there's a ton of things that we can do with just eating right and exercising that can be a great assistance to our sleep. That's a hard one for me. I'm a night snacker. I'm really trying. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, and I'm with you, Glenda. I enjoy a little night snack. I've been really trying to eat better. And so for me, that means not processed snacky foods. So I tend to snack on heavier things sometimes. But um, eating right is a huge component to our sleep and throw into that our opportunity to have our lifelong vitality vitamins. These are tremendous. Um, a lot of people that are taking these, we've heard, I have more energy, I have less pain, I'm less anxious, I get sick less often, I'm sleeping better, and I am more focused. Which, who doesn't want to be more focused? <laughs> so again, looking at our wellness pyramid, this is one of the things that doTERRA is really um, passionate about is helping your, helping us as wellness advocates and as customers to understand that it's not just about an oil. It's really about taking your health into your own hands and eating right and exercising again is right down here at this absolute foundation. The next one up is resting and managing stress. And looking forward to that, we have got some amazing oils that can help you get that rest and help uh, manage your stress in your central nervous system. So uh, these first three are part of our emotional aromatherapy line, passion, cheer, and motivate. And I thought that this was such a good thing to add in here because sometimes during my day, I just do not feel very motivated. And so I'll grab, a, um, I'll grab my little bottle of motivate and I'll pop it in the diffuser or I'll put a little bit on my wrist and it really does help me to get my butt back in gear. Get it in motion. Um, when you're talking about sleeping well during the night, you really also need to address staying um, active and engaged and motivated during the day. And I know sometimes it's this catch-22, right? If you don't sleep well at night, you don't feel motivated and engaged during the day. If you don't stay motivated and engaged during the day, you don't sleep well at night. And so it's kind of this chicken and egg thing which is really where, you know, taking that time, throwing the oil in your diffuser, making it happen can make such a difference. So some preparation for sleep, maintaining a healthy sleep rhythm. 
Now, this is huge. You know, so often, like in my girl's case, they typically wake up at 6.30, 7, 7.30 in the morning, depending on what time their school starts. And then days like today, it's their day off. And so they don't see any reason to climb out of bed before two o'clock in the afternoon. Um, one of the things as a mom I'm really trying to do with them is educate, 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 and make sure that they understand the difference on that one and how important it is to maintain a sleep rhythm. So if you can, Go to bed about the same time every single night because your body will get used to it. Mm -hmm. And if that means waking up at seven o'clock on a Saturday morning, wake up at seven o'clock on Saturday morning and come join us for our business meeting the second <laughs> Saturday of every month at eight o'clock. Nice plug. Thanks. thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, cutting out the screen time, as Gwenda said previously, you know, the body has a natural way to recognize when it's supposed to be awake and when it's supposed to be going to sleep. If you look at the way um, the body works, if we didn't have any clocks, if we didn't have any light at all outside and we were all still living in caves, <laughs> when the sun comes up, it would hit our uh, eyelids, right? And it would give our body this um, sensation that says, hey, good morning. It's time to wake up. And so we would get up and do our day, right? And then at the end of the day, when the sun goes down, you start to slow down a little bit. And about two hours after the sun goes down, the body is completely ready for sleep. However, when the sun goes down and we turn on our halogen lights and we flip on Netflix and start watching an entire season of This Is Us or something and um, stay up until 10, 11, 12 watching television, our brain still thinks I have another two hours before I... Or Red. And go to sleep before I can let go. So um, cutting out screen time before two hours before bed is very hard, I think, in our society, but also very, very important. Yeah. Um, caffeine, nicotine, and whoopsie. Sorry, guys. Caffeine, nicotine, and alcohol. So, uh, caffeine is kind of a no-brainer, right? If you're having trouble sleeping, cut your caffeine earlier in the day. If you are someone that reaches for that two o'clock in the afternoon cup of coffee because you've got that afternoon slump going on, grab your Mito 2 Max instead. Grab your bottle of peppermint oil and or your bottle of Motivate and um, try that instead because caffeine can sit in your bloodstream for a lot longer than we think um, and really make it difficult to sleep at night. Nicotine. Nicotine also has a, a boost in um, alertness, which is why I think back in the days when I was a smoker and I would drive a lot, that was my prime driving time, was because I would sit and I would smoke on my little cigarette and um, it helped me to keep awake while I was driving. Um, alcohol. Now it's funny because we always think that alcohol is a, a sedative, which it is. However, when you look at how the body heals itself, the liver is the most active at night and specifically in that one o'clock in the morning to three o'clock in the morning time frame. And so when your liver is the most active during that time frame, it's trying to heal itself. If it is taxed, if you have consumed too much alcohol during the day or into the evening, that liver is going to be working so much harder and it's not gonna let you get the sleep that it needs. So um, reducing your alcohol intake to, you know, that one glass of wine or 
glass of scotch or whatever your preference is. Um, but leaving it at that and making sure that you allow your body the healing opportunity that it needs. Um, keeping cool is a huge one as well. Oopsie. Sorry, guys. <laughs> keeping cool is a huge one. When you can um, cool down your body's core temperature, it will sleep better. You know, make sure your bedroom is dark, quiet, and relaxing. Neither too hot nor too cold. Um, making sure that your bed and pillows are nice and supportive, yet comfortable. And if you did not sleep as well as you could have, maybe check into a new set of bedding. I know it's not cheap to buy a new mattress, but sometimes that's absolutely what we need. So take some time to unwind with a bedtime ritual. I know that um, our friend Lori, she oftentimes will share with me the forward fold in bed at night in yoga, taking some time to fold your body in half, do that forward fold will um, help to slow down the body. It helps to reset to that central nervous system and really assist you in getting your energy down and into a position of sleep. So very, very simple. Just sit on your bed with your legs straight out in front of you, drop the head down, and um, take a couple nice deep breaths. Or you can lay on your floor or on your bed with a flat back, put your feet up the wall, and again, it just helps to shift. It helps to shift that energy. One of the things that I really love to do is give myself a little foot massage. Balance, serenity, marjoram is one of my favorites before sleep, vetiver, some really great things that you can do um, to yourself, really treating yourself because you, your feet take your body through so much during the day. It's so important to give back to yourself. And then like Glenda had said previously, diffuse 20 minutes before bedtime. Pop, in your pop some oils in your diffuser, go brush your teeth, go wash your face, go do your little um, bedtime ritual and get yourself ready. So relaxing in the bathtub is one of my favorite um, ways to unwind at the end of the day. I love to create this little spa-like environment. And, you know, I saw this when I was a teenager on a movie somewhere with the candles in around the bathtub. And I will tell you, that is one of my favorite things to do. I learned early on when my kids were little that um, being a mom doesn't often allow you much of an opportunity for a clean bathroom to look very spa-like. And so I actually, I will take my candles and I'll put them around the edge of the bathtub and then I'll close my shower curtain so I don't see the rest of the world. And it really does help me to kind of close that off and allow me to feel a little bit more relaxed and serene. And I really do make sure that my um, candles don't light, on fi light the shower curtain on fire. <laughs> Um, but when you're talking about taking a bath, throw some essential oils in there. But one of the best ways to do it is take a cup of Epsom salts and sh drop your oils into your Epsom salts, shake them up, and then disperse that into your bath water. That'll help the essential oils to get um, evenly dispersed through the water without just sitting on top because again, oil and water doesn't mix. So you want to have that, um, that Epsom salt to be sure to drop that in there. Julie, can I interject with something? Please. I just want to touch on how you use the word uh, ritual. And I think that it's a great way to look at how to prepare for bed is making a ritual or a routine, something that feels good and something that's relaxing it's just a great way to look at instead of, oh my God, I've got to go to bed. I've got to get up. I've got to start all over again tomorrow. Like just really taking that time and treating it like a ritual, I think is a really cool way to think about it and would probably help shift, especially if you have a lot of trouble falling asleep, would help you shift that mindset as it's time for your body to relax and unwind. Big time. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
So some oils that you can use at bedtime. When we look again at this emotional aromatherapy kit, these are some of my favorite ones for the end of the day. Console, it's very uh, woodsy. It's got some great oil blends in there. It's got some great oils in this blend that helps to promote feelings of comfort and hope. Um, counteracts negative emotions. And it's kind of like a big hug. And I just love putting console either in a diffuser or on my feet when I'm feeling like I just don't want to do today anymore. <laughs> so, um, that's a really great one. And I'm going to put a plug in for rose oil. You know, at convention, Emily was talking about how rose is just so comforting and so soothing. And it feels like a big blanket. And it's just so true. Rose has that a way of just encapsulating you and allowing you to feel so supported. Um, peace oil is a great one to use at nighttime for promoting a calming environment and restful sleep. And then forgive. You know, so often I think we get stuck in our day-to-day -day life and we don't take some time to address the emotions that our body is actually going through that we really do need to address, but we don't take the time to do so. And so when you go to lay down at night, your subconscious brain starts to dissect all of the things that went on through the day. And sometimes we do it in our dreams and sometimes we do it in that period of time between closing our eyes and actually falling asleep and something like this forgive oil can really help that subconscious mind to let go of those negative emotions to let go of that anger or that guilt and one of the beautiful things that they shared with us at convention is that when you use an essential oil it Aromatically, it gets up into that limbic part of your brain where we have no words. It's completely emotion. And a essential oil can actually help to shift your emotion faster than your cognitive brain can recognize what it is that you're smelling. I thought that was so fascinating. Mm -hmm. So something like forgive can be a real huge ability to, can give you a real ability to let go of that anger and that hurt and allow you to actually sleep at night. So some sleep tips, restful sleep tips with serenity. Have you used these serenity soft gels, Glenda? Yes, they're amazing. They're really nice. Sometimes you know, I have, go ahead. Sometimes when I use them, um, I wake up in the morning and you have those lines where you like haven't moved at all. <laughs> and you know you just got like that rock solid sleep. <laughs> I love that. You know, I typically don't have much trouble sleeping. However, this past summer I did a, um, a mission trip with my daughter and her church youth group. And we had 40 young teenagers sleeping on the floors on air mattresses in the basement of a church out in Brooklyn, which was an awesome experience. But it was also my first time with the Serenity Restful Complex that I really actually relied upon them because I needed something to <laughs> just let go. Um, and the beautiful thing about them is that they don't put you in such a um, un- aware state that it's dangerous and they don't leave you feeling groggy the next day. So it's just a very, very restful sleep that allows you to wake up feeling um, rested and ready to go. And since then I've been using them and they've been great. And even my daughter, my 13 year old, she has a she has trouble shutting off her brain at the end of the day. And so she has reached for one as well on occasion to help her with that. I don't know that I would give them to a two-year-old, but I think my 13-year-old is taking them just fine. So uh, the Serenity Restful Blend, 
um, the essential oil blend is a great oil to use in combination with the restful complex with the soft gels. So drop a couple drops into your diffuser at night or on the bottoms of your feet and it is a, it's an amazing combination. So some fun um, other essential oil blends that we found in looking for some sleep topics. Liquid sleep, 15 drops lavender, 10 drops vetiver, five drops frankincense, five drops ylang ylang, five drops wild orange. And you can combine this in a 10 milliliter roller bottle, top it off with fractionated coconut oil and apply it to the feet and the neck. And it can really help you get a really good night's sleep. Um, you can put this either in a roller bottle or a spritz bottle. This would also be a great thing to spritz on your pillowcase before bed and allow you to just drift off very, very peacefully. Some other diffuser blends that we came across. Um, sweet Dreams, Sleepy Time, Bedtime Stories, Sleep In, Sweet Slumber, Good Night, Sleep Tight, Spa Dreams. Just some really good um, diffuser blends here to uh, let you try out some new things. Some of my favorite oils for sleep are on here in on this listed on this diffuser blends. Vetiver, um, marjoram, uh, juniper berry, cedarwood, lavender. What are some of your favorite sleepy time oils, Glenda? Glenda. And I think we lost her. She's having some internet trouble. So I'll move on. So Bye Bye Bad Dreams. Um, this is a blend that I actually found and started using with my daughter. My sweet little 13 year old does have some trouble with dreams and Juniper Berry. If you have had a chance to look at the emotional book, Juniper Berry is the oil of the night. It has a tremendous way to help address some of the things that our brain is trying to process at night. So if you're having some nightmares, if you're having some bad dreams, juniper berry is an amazing oil to reach for. And sometimes I'll just put a drop on my finger and drop it right on her pillowcase. Sometimes we'll put it in her diffuser, or like I said, I'll make a spritz bottle or put it in a roller bottle for the bottoms of her feet. But this is a beautiful combination to use with your juniper berry. Um, Serenity to help you get that good, solid, sweet sleep. And then cedar wood. Again, um, it helps to quiet the chattering mind. So it's a really great oil to help bring down that um, slow down the brain and it'll let you get a really solid night's sleep. So a couple things that keep us up at night, snoring, um, whether it's you or whether it's your partner. Um, I have actually started going to using earplugs as well. Just those real soft, squishy earplugs that you can get at the pharmacy. Um, but this anti-snoring recipe is a great one to help your partner or yourself to stop snoring. Eight drops marjoram, eight drops geranium, eight drops lavender, three drops cedarwood, one drop frankincense, and two drops eucalyptus. Helps to open up the airways and relax that, um, the muscles and helps you get a really good night's sleep. Can I put a plug in for snoring too? And I'm so sorry, my internet connection is like in and out. I'm glad you're still with us. Yes, absolutely. It's been crazy. Another thing for um, snoring I've heard is placing a drop of time on the big toe of the person that snores. Mm. Um, something that I do also is I will diffuse either eucalyptus or breathe at night because I feel like that helps open up the airways. To, yeah. I've also been sleeping. <laughs> You've also what? Hope you got any of that. Oh, I got it. I got most internet. of it. <laughs> All right. So uh, one more thing that tends to keep us up at night, and maybe not everybody, and maybe mostly just women, 
or their partners during that special time of their life. But sometimes we have a tendency to overheat in the nighttime. And uh, this is a great blend that can help with that. And you can drop it right into a roller bottle. Lavender, peppermint, clary sage, and frankincense. And it can really help to um, balance out those hormones so that you can cool off and get a really good solid night's sleep. So uh, I hope that you have learned enough on this wonderful Wednesday morning. Um, and we've got some amazing other events happening. So I want to put in a nice plug for our Days for Girls event. I don't know if you have had the opportunity to learn a little bit about what doTERRA is doing with an organization called Days for Girls. But it was something that really hit our hearts when we were out at convention. Days for Girls is an organization that helps to provide reusable feminine hygiene products to girls in third world countries. And so often these um, girls in third world countries have to, um, they get shunned. They get shunned by their villages. And so providing them with these uh, feminine hygiene products and then going in and educating their communities on the absolute natural act that is um, our monthly cycle is such a huge thing that we're doing for these kids. And so we felt very drawn to provide an opportunity for our team back home to make some of these kits. So Saturday, November 18th, three o'clock down in Lakeville, we are going to be doing a, a sewing event. So if you know how to sew, Come, if you have a machine that you can offer, come. If you don't know how to sew, but know how to use a pair of scissors, come. If you know how to just put a straight pin into fabric, come. We can absolutely use your help, whether you know how to sew or not. Don't let that hinder your participation. Um, we would love to have you. And we also need some donations of items. We need a, actually a half gallon sized freezer Ziploc bag, uh, travel sized bars of soap, washcloths that are not white. We're gonna need girls cotton underwear, brief or hipster style. And sizes ranging from 10 to 18, and those are girls sizes. And flannel material, cotton quilting material, thread, scissors, sewing machines, all of that fun stuff. We're gathering all of this stuff together. Um, and if you're interested in that, contact Glenda or I. We have a Facebook um, event started for that and a spreadsheet where you can make note of what it is that you are going to help provide for us as well. So. Love to have you. Our next event that I want to put a plug in for is our next team night. We're trying to get together once in, once a month and do something fun. Our next team night is going to be November 7th at the Linux Community Center in St. Louis Park. And we are going to be talking about making your own perfume blends. Blending the oils can be such an amazing way to get the toxins out of your home. And, um, Essential oils have been used in perfumes since the beginning of time. So we're going to be able to make your own on Tuesday night, November 7th. Come join us. Our upcoming events, next week's webinar is on I Have Oils. Now what am I supposed to do with them? So often I think we get... Um, we introduce people to essential oils and then they don't really know what to do, whether it's on how to use them or how to order. And so we're going to talk about both of those things next week on our webinar. Our team night again is on November 10th. Uh, Unwind Within, the massage studio here in South Minneapolis, is hosting a intro to oils class November 10th. So come out and join us with that. Bring some of your friends, your neighbors. We'd love to help get them started. Um, next monthly business meeting is Saturday, November 11th from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. or 10 a.m. <laughs> Sorry, not that long of a day. 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. at Lunds and Byerly's in St. Louis Park. And then 
if you haven't gotten your ticket for the post convention tour yet, it is November 14th. It is free, but I do highly encourage you to register to get your seat. Um, because, well, they need to know how many people are coming so they can make sure the venue is big enough. And um, other locations. So that is November 14th is in Minneapolis. There are other locations throughout the nation that doTERRA is coming and doing post-convention tours at. So check out doTERRA.com in their events page. Thank you so much for joining us on our webinar this Wednesday. I am so glad to have you there. I hope that you're still with us, Glenda. I know that you I know that you're listening if you're not able to talk. But um, it's been a great opportunity to share with you guys a little bit. We do have one quick question. Oh, no, Deb just has said thank you. Thank you, Deb, for joining us. I greatly appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you guys next week.